save the pig! <laughs> what the heck? A pig with a party hat! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Piggy. You see the piggy. Save the pig, the game. The whole game you're trying to save the pig's life. Help! Ladies and gentlemen, we have some insano conspiracy theories. We have people literally saying things like, what if this is an elaborate detractor's plot? I'm serious. People are saying this. What if people who don't like you have set this up? To ruin you or whatever, all right? Well, I would say a few things. Number one, if this is an elaborate detractor plot, this is probably m the most elaborate plot ever. Like, this is more elaborate than them catfishing me for a year and a half and pretending to be someone else to become a moderator and then pretend to be my friend but then try to, like, hurt me or leak information or get me banned. And that happened twice. That literally happened twice in my years as a content creator. And this is, I'd say that's more elaborate than that. This is more elaborate than... Them completely fabricating this situation with fucking mobile games, providing years apparently of fake Discord disc chats and and it completely falsified information about bank statements, all the shit they've done there, right? It's more elaborate than that. It's more elaborate than when than we had a fake escort, right? That didn't exist, but was again more catfishing, fooling people with all this fake information. It's the most elaborate thing they've ever done. But you know what? It's not impossible. I would say it's not impossible. Seriously. I wouldn't put anything past anyone because people are absolutely insane. And you know what I'm saying? Like, who knows? Is there someone who works at Comcast who has control over this kind of shit, has a bug up their ass about me, and is willing to risk their job to fuck with me? Maybe. It's delusion. It's actual egotistical delusion. You know, because some people have said, well, I don't understand, Phil. If your internet screwed up, why about your neighbors? Well, my neighbors wouldn't be affected. Why? They would only be affected if the internet outright went down. I have completely different hardware and a completely different setup than them. I have all business class modems and different accounts. They don't have that. They just have residential internet that's called Xfinity. Mine's a completely different thing. So that's why, like, even though I'm using the same lines as them, unless it's an outright, oh, internet's completely out, they likely would have no idea what, that I have any problems because we're on different lines and everything, different accounts and everything. You see what I'm saying? Now, what's funny is Tyler in the chat says, really, dude, you're not that important. I know. I know. Tyler, I think you have reached my point. I'm not important. I'm Joe Nobody. I have a little presence on the internet, right? A few hundred viewers a stream, a few thousand viewers a video, if that. Probably 1,000 people on this planet who genuinely like what I do and support it. But I'm able to make a living doing it. And a lot of people have issue with that. They don't like that, that I can still be successful. You know what I'm saying? They hate me for some reason and you tell me that doesn't make sense you're right it doesn't make sense i agree with you tyler that's my point none of this makes any sense would you have catfished people for a year and a half to pretend to be someone to become a moderator of mine would you have elaborately invented a bunch of falsified information about mobile gaming would you have pretended to be an escort faking that you were visiting me and doing all this for like a six month period do you see what i'm saying none of this makes sense absolutely none of it makes any sense at all and it's all happened so I wouldn't put it past someone to say they're nuts, they're complete losers, and they're wasting their life, and they're actually risking their livelihood to fuck with me. I don't think that's the case. I think that's the wildest conspiracy theory. Um, <clears throat> oh my god, he's drinking piss. So I really don't believe that that's the case at all. Okay? But it's a possibility, right? I guess the, the weirdest thing about it is that the way the internet blipped out. We were live streaming Spider-Man and it went from green to red and then right back to green within 60 seconds. So within a minute, everything was back up and running. And that makes me feel like that's a, that's a firmware update. If you want to help right now, yeah, I'm not going to lie and I'm not going to fucking pussyfoot around it. Right now, my work is completely uncertain. I lost out on an hour of Spider-Man streaming. I lost out on a nice stream of Mario. And today, this stream is uncertain and I don't know what I'm going to be doing in the near future. This is not good because I run a business where every time I stream, I'm supposed to be raising money to pay everything around here. If I can't make the content you want, I'm not going to get the support I need to keep my business operating, all right? <clears throat> so if you want to help out right now, here's what you can do. Support however you can. And you can't do anything crazy, like the content, and leave comments on it. That engagement will help the channel. If you can go above and beyond doing that, and you want to do more, please support in some way. On today's live stream right now, Super Chat, Memberships, Gifted Memberships, Tips. Okay? If you're watching On Demand, you can leave a super thanks on an On Demand video. You can uh, do a tip, but just by looking at the description of any video, there's a link there to send a tip. That's how you can help. You even bake for money. <laughs> and there's nothing else I can say. You know, it sucks because 
I just want to put out the content you want. That's all I want to do. I don't want to be interrupted. I don't want to have to sit here and mess around. This is stupid. But it's my life right now. I have to deal with it. So that's how you can help. And I am. I, I said this yesterday in the special video that I made. Here's the deal. The good news is, <clears throat> I am no longer in the situation that I used to be in. Okay? No exaggeration. A few years ago, I was in such a bad situation that if there was a day when I couldn't stream, that's a day I'm not making money and I might not be able to pay any bills. I'm serious. That's how bad it was just a few years ago. The good news is I'm not in that bad of a situation anymore. Okay? But I'm certainly not in a situation where I can just not work for an extended period of time or where my income can be severely messed with for an extended period of time. That's just, it's not possible. If I have several days where I can't stream properly, I can't put out the content you want and people aren't supporting the content because of it, I'm screwed. All right? And I don't want to go back to where I was. I don't want to be setting myself back now to that situation again. It took me a long time to climb out of that hole. I don't want to go back in the hole. All right? And again, this is no one's fault. This is not my fault, your fault. Who knows if it's Comcast's fault? No one knows. Right? Until we figure this out today, there's no way that we even can point a finger at anything. So, yeah. Right now, if you want to help, this kind of support would help tremendously. If you could. I'm not asking anyone to go crazy. I'm not asking anyone to go above their means. I'm just saying, you want to help out, now would be a great time to support in some way via the methods I've outlined. And I would really appreciate that if you did, because that would put me a little bit at ease. Right? Rather than saying, well, I don't know what's happening, and if I can't stream, and if I can't upload normally, well, now I, I have no business. And now I can't, I go out of business, right? So, please, if you can, support if you can. Fair enough? <clears throat> just a reminder, guys, if you want to help me out, and please, you know, if you can today, please do, please tip me. Um, like I said, yesterday tips were really, really light, and tomorrow I'm actually going out earlier than usual this week. So any tips you, you, you know, today are going to directly help me, like, afford my groceries and stuff tomorrow. So please tip me if you can today, okay, guys? Oh, Felix the Maid says, would you be open for us buying you a free day? Like, once in a while, someone would tip a certain amount, and then you could have, uh, you could just relax with your wife for the day. Here, I mean, here's the thing, okay? Here's the thing. Yes and no. You know, if we were in the distinct idea that that's what was going to happen. Hold on one second, by the way. Here's the thing, all right? No matter what, not working puts me behind, you understand? Like, how can I explain this? <laughs> um, as you guys know, I have a certain work ethic. I e-bag, right? You're constantly asking your viewers and your fans for contribution. I stream a lot, right? I'm here consistently, correct? A lot of people tell me that I'm one of the more or, or one of the most dependable, consistent streamers there are. That I have a set schedule, you know what I'm doing during that schedule. A lot of other streamers, they'll turn their stream on, you don't even know what they're doing today. They'll turn their stream on whenever they feel like, without even giving you a heads up of exactly when they're starting. They don't take it seriously or act like professionals. It, to them, it's just kind of like a hobby or a mess around, right? Yet, here they are, ginormous popular people with millions of viewers and stuff, right? It's pretty crazy. I've never had that mentality. Since the day that I started streaming, I treated it like my job because that's exactly what it is, right? Like, I treated it seriously. And because of that, there's been a certain level of expectancy. If we were to have a situation where someone say, hey, I would like to donate a certain amount of a, a tip or whatever it may be, okay? Um, and that would allow you to have an extra day off this week, right? Here's the thing. If that were exactly what happened, then yes, all right? But typically, in a situation like that, here's usually what happens, right? So, all right, so I get a big contribution, and I decide, well, because of that, now I'm going to work less. What ends up happening is, you know, now I work less, now I'm behind. Not because I'm behind, people are upset. Not because people are upset, they don't contribute. You get it? It kind of is cyclical. It's like, you have a level of expectation of what I'm going to do and, and how I'm going to do it, and if I don't live up to it, then people get disappointed. And disappointed people don't tend to have a good time and don't tend to support that person who they're watching. Do you see what I mean? Um, so, if the whole idea was, I, you know, I'm going to tip Phil a big tip today. And I'm hoping that this tip is going to allow him to not have to work an extra day this week. And so this happens and I plan it out ahead of time. And we're all of the agreement that this is what it is. And everyone says, yes, this is so you can have an extra day off this week. You deserve it. And everyone's okay with it. Then yes, that could happen. But that would have to be something that actually has planning, that we all talk about, we plan, we agree to. 
so that there's no disappointment, all right? Because typically, here's what I've found. <clears throat> when you get a situation where you get a day where there's great support, what ends up happening is then people look at that situation, because let's be honest here, I don't have a normal following on the internet. I have both a fan base and a hater base, right? There's people who hate watch me and literally track every dollar that I make on a stream. As messed up as that sounds, that's very much the case. So, if I have a day where, oh my god, Phil did really well today. Let's, I'm going to throw a number out there. Phil made $500 today, and he typically doesn't do that. You know, in a given day, he would never make that much. It's just a random thing. He made $500 on stream today. That's crazy. <clears throat> what ends up happening is, those scumbags will make a series of videos about it. They'll put it everywhere. See, Phil made $500 today. He doesn't need your support because he's, he's rolling in it right now. So what ends up happening is I'll have a really good day, and all of a sudden, I'll just happen to notice that over the course of the next week, support's way low. And it's not my fault. I, I did nothing wrong. I did everything correct. Now, what happened? That will be the same as saying you own a sandwich shop, and one day, you have a rush of customers, and they all come in and buy your sandwiches. Wow, I did so good. For the rest of the week, no one comes into your shop. What happened? Right? I don't know, but that's what happens sometimes. Okay? I'll have a, I'll run a marathon, and the marathon will go really well, and a lot of people will support the marathon, and all of a sudden, the whole rest of the week is slow for support, which is no good. The whole idea is consistency, right? So, if I'm putting out the same content, and it's genuine fun content, and it's useful, and educational, and people find value in it, then arguably, what you would think would happen is that every single day, I would have a, a, a set amount of consistent support that I can depend on, and would, would, you know, be the same, and I could say, okay, now I'm, I can rely on that, and I'm good. And that's literally not what happens. And we've talked about this as well, correct? We have. Um, we have had situations where, again, you know, I have a really good day, and then all of a sudden, for the rest of the week, it's dead. No support. Why? Oh, because your haters made a bunch of videos saying you made $500 today, so now everyone's like, haha, he doesn't need anything. So, you know, now no one came by and supported your stream today. Or everyone withheld because they saw that you had a good day yesterday and everyone talked about it in hater videos. Like, what? What are you talking about? And the thing is, I don't even know that because I don't watch that junk. I'm here on my stream putting out my content. That's all I know. I don't watch any other shit around me on the periphery. I only know about it when people come to me <clears throat> and talk to me about it. That's the only time I know. I, you guys tell me in the chat or I'll get an email about it. I will never know about their junk unless you guys distinctly tell me what's going on with that junk. Okay. Oh no, he's one of those little fucking spoiled rich brats who gets everything from his parents. If people would tune out the bullshit, if they would, if they would just listen to me and say, "Listen, if you really like me and my content, here's what you do: every day you come here, you watch the stream, you talk with me, you enjoy, and you move on with your day, and that's it. You unplug. When this stream is unplugged or the, the on-demand video is done, you're done. Do not watch any of the periphery shit, and you will enjoy this a lot more. There's so many people that fall down that rabbit hole of bullshit." They listen to all the trash that people say about me and everyone else around me, and they get sucked into that toilet. It's what it is. It's a toilet. And once you get sucked into the toilet, it's hard to get yourself out because it's flushing. You're getting pulled down. You know what I'm saying? And there's really nothing I can do. You, you might watch my content, all right? And then all of a sudden, five related videos show up that are all negative, right? You could literally be watching my marathon stream, and a marathon stream, I do well. People, you know, support and then it goes offline, and here's a detractor video. Phil makes this much money in his stream. He's an e-beggar, blah, blah, blah. What? Wait, I just watched the stream. The stream was good. The stream was entertaining and fun. People supported it. That's a positive. But you spin it as a negative, right? And then you get bombarded with that negative shit. And it's ridiculous that you do. But that's how YouTube works, right? Oh my god, he's drinking wheelchair donations. Yes. Mmm. So I get it, that's kind of the nature of the beast, but at the same time, it sucks because like you just suggested, what if <clears throat> someone contributed a big amount and said, here, take the day off, right? First of all, I wouldn't be able to just take that day off. It would have to be a planned thing, right? Like, okay, if Phil gets a big contribution, everyone agrees that maybe I'll take a day off next week, an extra day off or something like that. But then I literally have to have a week where every other day is a normal day and I'm making a good amount of support and everything every day. It can't be, I have the one good day, but then I have four slow days. Well, now I can't take the day off. Do you see? <clears throat> In general, um, that's how it works, right? So, you know, that's, that's, that's the situation being a content creator of my level. There are many content creators that are bigger than me or content creators that are seen in a much more favorable, positive light, and they get tons of opportunities that I don't get. They get opportunities for sponsorships, partnerships, paid product placements, referral codes, shill, 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 
And those people don't have to work as much as me. They get to take time off. They get to go on travel and do vacations and go on work trips and things like that. I can't do that. I can't. Those days are over. You know, those days were over 10 years ago. Right? And there's nothing I can do about that. I can't make time rewind. I can't make 10 years of slander go away. Um, all I can do is push forward positively. Right? All those people who get that flexibility are not me because they're not me. Get it? That's why they have that. They can do what they, they want to do. That, that amount of control over their, their work or whatever they do. I don't have that. Phil's blowing his money on DoorDash. Phil's blowing his money on mobile games. Phil's blowing his money on gin. That's where my money goes every fucking month. I literally have to sit here and grind and make the content I do in order to make ends meet, okay? Um, that's just my reality, you know? And my wife and I have come to terms with that, although we want it to get better. We want to have two days off a week because ideally, one day off should be the day where I run errands. Like I go grocery shopping, and, and appointments and all of that. And we should have another day off that we get to spend together as a family. That we could go have fun. Go on a nice long date long, a date day. Or hey, we want to do stuff in the house today. We have time to do it. We don't. I'm not kidding you. It took us years to clean out our garage. I, I didn't even know you could be this lazy. We just finally cleaned out the garage to the point where I need like one more big clean out trip to maybe the dump. And then the garage will be clean where we can actually like thoroughly redesign and clean it and use it for something. I absolutely would love to have another day off a week. But even if someone were to step up and say, hey, here's a big contribution, take Friday off. I couldn't guarantee that that would work. You know what I'm saying? We could plan for it, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna work. And that sucks, you know? But that's that's really <laughs> out of my control at this point. What would you like me to do today? The basics include cooking, cleaning, laundry. See, that's what I'm talking about, yo. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant, fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory, but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>